All right, continuing wonder um, from Justin's point of view. Yeah, I've seen pictures in Olivia's house. I'm the one who gave him that helmet, she says. She sounds a little proud of that. She takes the picture and carefully inserts it back into her wallet. Cool, I answer. So you're okay with it? She says, looking at me. I look at her blankly. Okay with what? She raises her eyebrows like she doesn't believe me. You know what I'm talking about, she says, and takes a long drink from her water bottle. Let's face it, she continues. The universe was not kind to Augie Pullman. Bird. Why didn't you tell me that you and Miranda and Navis used to be friends? I say to Olivia the next day. I'm really annoyed at her for not telling me this. It's not a big deal, she answers defensively, looking at me like I'm weird. It is a big deal, I say. I looked like an idiot. How could you not tell me? You've always acted like you don't even know her. I don't know her, she answers quickly. I don't know who that pink-haired cheerleader is. The girl I knew was a total dork who collected American Girl dolls. Oh, come on, Olivia. You come on. You could have mentioned it to me at some point, I say quietly, pretending not to notice the big fat tear that's suddenly rolling down her cheek. She shrugs, fighting back her tears. It's okay, I'm not mad, I say, thinking the tears are about me. I honestly don't care if you're mad, she says spitefully. Oh, that's real nice, I fire back. She doesn't say anything. The tears are about to come. Olivia, what's the matter, I say. She shakes her head like she doesn't want to talk about it. But all of a sudden, the tears start rolling a mile a minute. I'm sorry. It's not you, Justin. I'm not crying because of you, she finally says through her tears. Then why are you crying? Because I'm an awful person. What are you talking about? She's not looking at me, wiping the, her tears with the palm of her hand. I haven't told my parents about the show, she says quickly. I shake my head because I don't quite get what she's telling me. That's okay, I say. It's not too late. There are still tickets available. I don't want them to come to the show, Justin, she interrupts impatiently. Don't you see what I'm saying? I don't want them to come. If they come, they'll bring Augie with them, and I don't feel like... Here, she's hit by another round of crying that doesn't let her finish talking. I put my arm around her. I'm an awful person, she says through her tears. You're not an awful person, I say softly. Yes, I am, she sobs. It's just been so nice being in a new school where nobody knows about him. You know, nobody's whispering about it behind my back. It's just been so nice, Justin. But if he comes to the play, then everyone will talk about it. Everyone I know. I don't know why I'm feeling like this. I swear I've never been embarrassed by him before. I know, I know, I say, soothing her. You're entitled, Olivia. You've dealt with a lot your whole life. Olivia reminds me of a bird sometimes, how her feathers get all ruffled when she's mad. And when she's fragile like this, she's a little lost bird looking for its nest. So I give her my wing to hide under. The universe. I can't sleep tonight. My head is full of thoughts that won't turn off. Lines from my monologues, elements of the periodic table that I'm supposed to be memorizing, theorems I'm supposed to be understanding, Olivia, Augie. Miranda's words keep coming back. The universe was not kind to Augie Pullman. I'm thinking about that a lot and everything it means. She's right about that. The universe was not kind to Augie Pullman. What did that little kid ever do to deserve his sentence? What did the parents do, or Olivia? She once mentioned that some doctor told their parents that the odds of someone getting the same combination of syndromes that come together to make Augie's face were like one in four million. So that doesn't make the universe a giant lottery then? You purchase a ticket when you're born and it's all just random whether you get a good ticket or a bad ticket. It's all just luck. My head swirls on this, but then softer thoughts soothe like a flatted third on, ma on a major chord. No, no, it's not all random. If it really was all random, the universe would abandon us completely and the universe doesn't. It takes care of its most fragile creations in ways we can't see, like with parents who adore you blindly and a big sister who feels guilty for being human over you and a little gravelly voiced kid whose friends have left him over you and even a pink haired girl who carries your picture in her wallet. Maybe it is a lottery, but the universe makes it all even out in the end. The universe takes care of its birds.